it's recording. All right, so I decided to do an unboxing today. Um, trying a new setup with my cameras. Don't know why, but I am. So I have this camera here. I have my phone there, which is not really a camera. Well, it has a camera on it. That's what I do most of my videos on so far. And then I have um, my other camera over there. So hopefully this works. If not, I'm gonna get really aggravated, but I'll put it up anyway. I we'll see. Um, all right, let's see. So the unboxing is going to be for my uh, Sword Art Online swords. I have two of them. Um, I have both of Kirito's swords, um, and then uh, my plan is to. Sometime in the next couple of months, hopefully I'll get asanas, and my fiance wants to get her costume, so we'll see uh, what happens. Um, it's a little bit out of the budget right now, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, this will be part one. I'm going to go get the boxes. All right, so this is sword one of two. Uh, this is the black sword. Nice long box. I got all these swords uh, from TrueSwords.com. Um, I'll put a link in the video description. I really like their website. They got some uh, good stuff on there, and it's not horribly in it, or horribly expensive, and it's really well made. Um, this one I have opened before. I actually have opened both of them before, um, but I packed them back up because I'm moving and I haven't. Uh, I don't want to have everything laid out, you know, been packing everything up. Anyway, so, um, originally when this was packaged, this was, the sword itself was wrapped in, uh, wrapped in, uh, plastic and, you know, the, the styrofoam is cut out specifically for the, uh, the swords, um, so like I said, this is the black one. It's got some nice heavy weight on it and little pieces of styrofoam. Uh, nice and tall, um, nice and long. It's got the little cross on the uh, blade. So it's a nice sword. I like it. It's a nice heavy weight and you know, one-handed sword. The uh, the artwork is uh, on it is done pretty well. Um, you know, from from the anime to this, it's uh, pretty accurate. And like I said, it's got some heavy weight to it. Like, you know, it, it, they're not sharp edges. Uh, you know, hence the reason I can run my finger up and down them. Um, they're not sharp edges at all. It is qu quite pointy. Um, so you know, if you wanted to stab someone, it, it would work. Um, but uh, yeah, if you hit someone with this, they would feel it. It's it's you know easily easily ten pounds. Um, but you can see on it the uh, the artwork on the uh, hilt is uh, not the greatest, not the most accurate, but it you know it looks good. And I'm gonna have you know these on a. Uh, mount above my <laughs> above my bed actually um maybe not the safest place to put them but that's the plan and i'm gonna th i'll figure out a way to mount them so they stay uh in there pretty well and then the uh the sheath it's a uh kind of a a cardboard plastic sheath it's got these fake little uh straps on them that they slide up and down, and you could probably hook hook them onto something. I don't know if they'd hold much weight, but you know they work. And these sheaths are um, made to go to each sword. So each sword has its own sheath. So this one's for the black sword, and um, I don't I don't. It's been a while since I watched Sword Art, so I don't exactly remember which what the uh, name of this sword is, because there is actually a real name. So uh, I will set that set that here. Hopefully I don't break anything, and then I will get the other sword. All right, sword number two. 
this is the uh, the first sword was the sword that he got from defeating a monster or something like that. This is the sword that he had crafted. He went on some adventure with uh, his that one uh, blacksmith, and she to get the uh, I think it was a crystal dragon turd was what it was, uh, something like that. So he had you know the uh, she had, he had her craft the sword and it turned out you know really well in the anime it works really well for him and then in here it looks really good and again same type of packaging it's uh, they got their the styrofoam and this one still is wrapped in the plastic I put it back in the plastic because um, I didn't want to leave it out to get all the styrofoam on it um, same, you know, same as the other one it has the sheath that has the uh, straps that sli slide, and um, the sheath is made for it. This one's got a little bit more artwork on it because it's silver up here instead of just being all black. And you pull this out, um, and it's uh, it's a nice sword. You know, it's, this one's a little bit lighter um, than the other one. The other one had a bit more weight to it. Um, this one does have the uh, the bow out right here, so it kind of has that diamond shape at the front of it. Not as severe as what it actually is in the anime, but uh, definitely, uh, definitely, um, you can definitely see it there. Um, the one thing I did notice uh, on this one is that it's not exactly put together a hundred percent well like this hilt comes off um, you know it's supposed to be glued on there and you know didn't take me much to actually knock it off so I might you know throw some hot glue on that and and uh, put that back on but other than that you know it's pretty well made sword um, some of the other artwork I noticed was uh, wrong on it like it has the uh, this little dot right here on the hilt is supposed to be blue. Um, I think I might just get some paint and uh, fix that myself. Um, but other than that, you know, the same as the other one, it's quite pointy. Um, you know, it's it seems like it's the right size. Uh, they're supposed to be one-handed swords, so you know, like I can't fit two hands in. I can't fit two hands on there quite, you know, very comfortably. And I think before I put these away, I'm going to try to put that hot glue on this. That really is going to bother me if it doesn't stay on there. Looks like the handles are made out of wood. I, you know, but uh, it's you know it's a nice sword. I like it, um, and they look really good together. Uh, let's grab the other one. So they're both, you know, they're both standing on the ground right now. Uh, the black one's a little bit longer, and like I said, a little bit heavier. But uh, I like them. God, the hilt's gonna fall off again. That really kind of annoyed me. That you know, it wasn't that bad when I first got it, but they've been sitting, you know, for maybe I don't know, a couple of weeks. I barely ever taken this out of the. Uh, out of the case and it's falling off that's kind of annoying um, anyway um, like I said they're you know they're, they're nice I like them um, being a fan of the show but not a you know huge mega nerd of the show um, I think they're pretty good you know for having to buy something compared to having to uh, have it made or make it yourself, they uh, they'll hold up. Um, except for you know, I have to fix that, and that doesn't bother me horribly, but it bothers me a little bit. Um, but like I said, I'll probably fix that today before I put that away. But 
they're you know they're not weighted the right way so like I don't know where the center of balance is probably about there but they're you know, nice and heavy and like I said if you hit someone with this you're gonna do some damage to them but not something I suggest in fact please don't hit people with these swords that's to all my friends that come over too if you hit someone with a sword I will kick you and then kick you out of the house um, yeah that's about it anyway um, I would strongly suggest the website most of the stuff that I've gotten from them before um, I've gotten a lot of knives a lot of uh, different stuff from them before and I've liked it all and it's all been pretty good uh, quality you know up into this this green sword other than that you know they've been pretty good quality I'm uh, the one sword that I wish they had was the uh, the key sword from Kingdom Hearts, but unfortunately they do not have that one. But I've ha I have managed to find it other places, and I think that'll be probably one of my next swords because it's on the more inexpensive side because it's not actually really all you know steel like this one. Um, and by the way, these are actually steel. They're uh, I believe they're stainless steel, um, just painted stainless steel. Um, so, um, but yeah, they're really good. Uh, they also have Zelda swords, and they have their she Zelda shield. I, th they, I think for the swords, they have the Master Sword and the Twilight Princess Sword. Uh, they got some of the swords from Bleach. Uh, I won't ever buy the Bleach ones from them because they're not going to be the right size. Because the Bleach sword in the anime was... It had to have been six foot tall, or at least five feet tall, and the, the ones on there are lacking, you know, like this, I think this sword is something like 40, 44 four inches long or something like that, and this one's, you know, a little bit shorter than that, but, I don't know, I, I, I like their products, I, uh, I'll probably still end up buying stuff from them in the future, I've bought a few other things from them, like I said, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.